one in and brought down by Peter Shalulile and he shoots and he scores and that's what you get for a top quality striker great turn an opportunity to strike really from Peter Shalulile here just now that's a Peter Shalulile at his best again he doesn't waste time with the ball once he's in a good position he knows where the goal is really well hit uh, grass cutter lucky in the end i think it will go down as an own goal it won't be peter charulia's goal it came off the upright and into the back of the net uh, unlucky for charulile he is not gonna get that as a goal uh, as a goal for him it's an own goal but uh, he won't care now the brave warriors is in the lead and this is where they wanted to be I'm sure this is where they want it to be. The crowd here obviously will be expecting more. Woody Jacobs also joining in the animation show here to be able to tell the players as to what it is that they expect from them. And look at that fan there, the tension being released. It's almost like, wow. Honorable Abike Dabu Erewa. And uh, here's Ninga Kasimi. He's possessed. He's running away from the ball there, Chester. Bad news for now. Thanks for watching. Ninga Donde. And here as far as Kanamo. Nyambe has to be called to defend the Kings. Ezekiel Dozo. It's very interesting now, Leslie, to see what Chata can come up with uh, the approach uh, for the first half or for the 65 minutes of the game have worked, but only until then. Now they need to change their approach to this game because now they are trailing, unless if they are happy to lose this one, which I think they are not. So we would uh, like to see what different approach do they have, uh, the visitors. You see Muhammad. Long ball forward and it's a goal. Oh wow! What an immediate response. And it's their captain, Ezekiel Doza. Totally unmarked in the box there, Chester. And uh, we'll have a look at it again. A sucker punch for the Brave Warriors. Just when they thought that they had things under control. Immediate response there from uh, Chad. And Ezekiel Doza gets his ninth goal for his country talk about the approach what different approach do they have uh, putting more bodies definitely on set pieces and try to uh, outnumbers the brave warriors that was one and that worked to the to the core and uh, looking at the goal again it's poor defending you I can't uh, say it otherwise uh, it's a free header in the box he is the tallest man in that uh, penalty box uh, he was left unmarked why that's the question that you will ask the big guys of the brave warriors your charles nyambe your denzel house somebody need to pick him up nobody did the goalkeeper matuka off target doesn't even trouble the goalkeeper there, I'm sure gets it. Lops it up in the air, a chance there, headed back in, and it's a goal! This time, it's Chris Kashuka who will get his goal, Chester. Redemption for the defender. Who's this, this time, no denying him, Chris Kashuka. The first time it was good goalkeeping from the goalkeeper, but this time Chris Kashuka made sure his goal is the second goal in the Brave Warriors yet, Chris Kajukwa. He scored in 2015, the last goal against Zimbabwe in that Kosafa Castle Cup. They went to win in the end. But this time around, uh, he scored a very, very important goal, unmarking the box. Oh, the skill is what the strikers need from a defender. Good takeoff from Chris Kajukwa on the volley and good power behind it. No one no one will stop that well it looks like a 2004 will uh, is repeating right in front of our eyes here uh, it was a uh, two goals to one it went in this same fashion only that uh, judge Herman scored a a penalty to be able to make it 2-1 for namibia on the day then we is it going to end this way or not or has uh, chad have another play up their sleeve to be able to